Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, energy check-in. Uh, this is going to be for Taurus you, uh, for October 2022. You can apply this to any of your placements, okay? Uh, this reading could be about anything. Uh, we're just going to see what the cards have to say. So um, we're going to take a look at your over energies. Uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for October, and then we will see uh, what else you guys need to know, what to look out for, outcome advice, apply this to your own unique situation, um, uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus here. Over energies for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect? For October 2022, what do we have for Taurus here? Over energies for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know here? All right, the Queen of Cups and Judgment. Okay. Seems like you're having a major awakening here. Okay. You know, it could be that also, you know, this awakening is maybe scaring you. Scaring you in a way with that you're not paying any attention to it. Uh, because when it, when there's an awakening, you know, change is expected, change is needed, change is necessary. And I feel like you could be avoiding it, Taurus. But let's just see what else we have here. Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Sagittarius energy here. We have the Ace of Pentacles here and Justice. Seems like there's a new beginning here. Seems like you're on the cusp of perhaps clearing out a karmic cycle here. Perhaps you're learning your lessons, okay? I feel like you're getting really, really close because the next card is the world card after judgment. So I do feel like a cycle is closing out and there's a new beginning here, okay? It could be that there is a judgment call or that there's something in the justice system that's gonna be, that's working out, that's gonna allow you the new beginning that you've been looking for here, okay? Could be a separation could be a divorce here okay could be like a settlement all right um two of pentacles and the magician gemini virgo here you know i feel like moving forward you're going to be juggling a lot here okay you know i feel like there's that energy of you manifesting something new here for yourself or that you're just master manifesting so whatever you're not paying attention to right now you will eventually you will eventually pay attention to it because the universe uh, and your guides and your angels are dropping signs right in front of you here taurus i mean but look how this queen is looking away from this judgment card so there is an awareness here but there is an energy of avoiding Okay, uh, tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? We have a Six of Cups. Oh, wow. Judgment here and the Ten of Wands. So there is someone that you're missing here where you're looking for a reconciliation here with. But I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors and, your, and the universe is telling you to drop this. It's time to move on from this. It's time to let go because I feel like you might be holding on here or that you've been holding on for a while here, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Justice here, and the Queen of Wands. What's happening here is that I feel like there is someone here that's wanting a new beginning here with you too. Just so you know, Let's say if this is a romantic relationship, you're looking for a reconciliation with this King of Swords and this King of Swords once went towards someone else and they're trying to come back towards you. This Queen of Wands is still in the picture here. So yes, I feel like a lesson is being learned here, okay? Uh, because I feel like this person has done this before. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles here. So King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, the Magician, and the Three of Pentacles here. Okay. 
So moving forward, you might be connecting with a lot of different people, okay? A lot of different people to perhaps help you in where you need to be or where you need to get to or what you're trying to manifest here. Your friends might be trying to help you out. Your coworkers are trying to help you out. But I feel like, you know, moving forward, you're going to be really connected to your soul tribe here, uh, um, uh, Taurus, okay? Uh, what else do we have here for Taurus? What else do we have here for Taurus? Outcome and advice for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know here? What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to look out for or work on here for October 2022? We have the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. We have the King to the Queen of Swords here. That's a true pair. Moving forward with the Five of Swords, you know, sometimes, you know, most of the time, the Five of Swords represents mind game, jealousy here, you know, kind of like a push and pull energy. But for me, it's an indication that you're going to put yourself first, okay? You're letting go of the past and you're putting yourself first and you're no longer getting yourself in drama that's no longer serving you, okay? Um, we have the Three of Swords here and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're finally gonna let go and perhaps, you know, I, I, I think the universe and your guides and your angels are asking you to move that energy, move that grief, move that pain, move that loss here instead of holding on to it. Okay, it's time to transmute these energies that you've been holding on to, people that you've been uh, holding on to. So the first step is letting people go or letting this person go and start moving the energy, start the healing process. Okay, we have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the Six of Pentacles. All right. I feel like regarding your spiritual journey you you're about to find a mentor that's going to guide you that's going to teach you and help you through this journey here and whoever this is this is an individual that is that is really generous with their time and their energy here okay some of you guys might be on the path you know some of you guys might have a, a spiritual teacher or that you're looking for a spiritual teacher that's going to help you throughout your journey here five of swords we have the Hierophant, yeah. Uh, I feel like you're about to meet a guru here that's going to really put you in the right direction here. This is part of your healing journey, I feel, okay? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, there you are. Queen of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles here, yeah. So there's an the energy of definitely, you know, leaning onto a deity here, leaning onto your core values and really holding on to it. Perhaps some of you guys might be sort of like reassessing it too, you know, to make sure that, you know, it is for you or if it's not for you, okay? The uh, Three of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. There is someone that's trying to come back towards you. Seems like in their eyes, you're glowing up. Okay, you're leveling up as you pull further and further and further away from them. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre Empress energy, Nine, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Emperor here, and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Six of Pentacles here, and the Eight of Wands. All right. There could be, some, I do feel like this is someone that you're dealing with here. This is the ex that you've been holding on to for a while. Someone here is trying to step up here. This person fears losing you. I feel like you're going to re be receiving a lot of communication from an ex. And just keep in mind, I feel like deep down inside, you know that there are other parties still involved here if this person did reach out to you. And they'll lie about it, okay? Seems like you're going through a huge transformation here. So this is beautiful here, Taurus, all right? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.